On the left side of the screen, that's some of the devastation left behind after the severe weather and tornadoes that swept through the state yesterday. On the right side of your screen, 50 years ago today, that's what was left behind when 148 twisters hit 13 states, 27 alone here in Kentucky. It's a day that no one who lived in the bluegrass on April 3rd, 1974 will ever forget. And it's one meteorologists will always look back on as they work to improve how we track these storms and how we warn you of the approaching danger. Our chief meteorologist Bill Meg shows us what's changed in the last 50 years in tonight's Big Story at 530. To any meteorologist of a certain age and to anyone who had to endure it, there's one weather day that stands out above all others. April 3rd, 1974. It's the Mount Everest. It's the Kentucky Derby of all weather. I mean, it's the biggest event of all. It changed profoundly everything we do that you do, I do at the Weather Service. We went from vacuum tube radars to Doppler weather radars. That's John Gordon, the meteorologist in charge of the National Weather Service office in Louisville, describing the super outbreak of tornadoes from April 3rd, 1974, an event that remains unprecedented in its scope and ferocity. Hundreds of people dead, thousands injured, and more than 140 tornadoes across the nation, most of them the big ones, F3s, F4s, and F5s. Tornadoes haven't changed in the last 50 years, but how we gather and disseminate the severe weather information has, as he describes a weather office from back then. Smoke filled, um, they had maps up on the wall, uh, they hand analyzed, you bring a coloring box to work, uh, vacuum tube radars, uh, fax machines over here printing out the maps. You had eight track weather radios that were gonna come after this event, so you didn't even have that. The communications was a phone, there was no internet, there was nothing. So April 3rd, normally the procedure back then was they waited till something was touched down to issue. And the human eye was the primary weather tool to get information from first responders and ham radio operators that were stationed around a county. The Storm Spotter program, the Skywarn program, was a way to relay what they were seeing after being trained to send in those reports. I see rotation, I see inflow, I see um, the rear flank downdraft, I see whatever it is, hail, big hail that day too. In 1974, that could be a cumbersome process. Remember, there were no cell phones, just radios. What used to take minutes now takes seconds, and seconds save lives. We're going to issue uh, Lincoln County. We're going to go tornado. We put it in slack. The mezzo says it's good to go. We issue this. It goes out in a span of less than a minute. And what else has changed since 1974? A repeat of April 3rd. What would be different today? Good question. I'm glad you asked that. Yeah. Okay. I thought the best system I've ever seen in my life was March 2nd, 2012. We told everyone this is the day. That's all I had to say. The governor was on the call, everyone's on the call. This is the day. And we're gonna be able to do that more and more in the future when we have an event like December 10th, 11th, when we say this is the day. What happened in 2012 versus 74? In 2020, um, UK dismissed, EKU dismissed. The, schools across the state dismissed. That, would, that did not happen in 74. I yeah, think of all those advancements that, that really help pe keep people safe these days. Yeah, it makes a big mm -hmm. difference. I mean, you all have the, the, the Storm Tracker app or whatever you have on your phone. Mm -hmm. I mean, that gets you the alert instantly. That's also not your cue to go out and video yeah. the phone. I was 10 years old when that storm happened, mm. and the storms only briefly impacted Illinois where I was growing up, but still remember that day vividly. When I mm -hmm. say there's, you've got to be of a certain age, yeah. you know, we talked to like to Bain and to mm -hmm. Emily who are much younger. Yeah. The storm for them is ancient history. Right. Mm. Uh, but for those of us who are a little bit older mm -hmm. and for so many Kentuckians, it is sure. a storm of record and a, and a turning point. Yeah, my dad remembers it in Stamping Ground. There yeah. we go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's, that's again, stories to tell about mm -hmm. it and luckily able to tell the stories. Yep. Mm -hmm.